two different fluids flow through pipes exiting as free jets into the atmosphere. The pressures P1 and P2 are equivalent and the diameters of the two pipes are equivalent. However, the Reynolds number in pipe 1 is only 1, indicating laminar flow, and the Reynolds number in pipe 2 is 100,000, indicating that the flow is turbulent. The question is, how do the shear stresses acting on the fluids at the pipe walls compare? To answer this question, I suggest that you draw two different control volumes for the two pipes, and the control volumes are delineated by the location of P1 and at the free jet, and the size of the control volume are at the inner walls of the pipe. Because the momentum entering the control volume at the left is equal to the rate at which momentum leaves the control volume on the right, the sum of all external forces acting on the control volume must be equal to zero. And the external forces would be the pressure force pushing on the left side of the control volume, the pressure force due to atmospheric pressure pushing on the right side of the control volume, and the shear stress of the pipe acting on the fluid at the outer walls of the control volume.